All right, let's talk now about email management. I don't really delete my important emails because I might need to go back to it, but anything kind of older than a year to me and I start to delete it, okay? So this is kind of cleanup you might do every beginning of school year, every year, but if you're for sure you do not need an email, like I do not need these three questions one that we have here, if you put your mouse on top of it, you can see that you've got these little icons that appear. Archive is it will keep it, but it'll just archive it away. And of course, this is delete, and then this is mark as unread. So if I do this, then it looks it looks dark again. It's bolded, so it looks like I've not read it. Okay, so I'm just gonna mark that as read. And then I could uh, snooze this, and it'll come back in a day or two, however long I tell it to snooze. But I'm gonna delete it. I just wanted to show you that. I'm just tap on delete. Boom, now it's gone. So if you have emails that you for sure do not need, that's how you delete them. Probably archiving is the best thing. And remember, I don't mind keeping mine for about a year, but you can't let hundreds and hundreds of emails stack on top of each other. So at least uh, delete them as you go along. Uh, maybe anything old for a year old, just go ahead and delete it. But anyhow, that's how to uh, delete your emails. If you want to go back and check on something, you have some other things here. Like I could go back to my sent folder and here's all my emails that I've been sending out are right here. But they're also included in the inbox because it does keep what's called a thread. So every time you do some, so here's the original email, here's what I wrote back, and you know, so it's, it's pretty simple on keeping track of things in your email. So have a lot of fun with it, okay?